Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down this slate of games. We got day games, night games coming your way. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. All is welcome, guys. It helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content. We were on a heck of a run. It started off college football on Saturday edition. Uh, good start to the week, and we gave a lot of it back yesterday. It was a tough day, guys, but I am feeling good about this Wednesday slate hump day special, and it starts off early here, guys. 310 Eastern, 1210 Pacific time. We are heading a mile high for the Colorado Rockies hosting the Arizona Diamondbacks. NL West battle here with Austin Gomber on the hill for the Rocks. Eduardo Rodriguez, the lefty, going for the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks minus 155 road favorites, total of 11. A team that just lost four of the last five games in the Diamondbacks, favored by 155 over the Colorado Rockies that are 4-1 and one on this homestand, 5-1 and one overall, plus seven units, cashing all as underdogs. They cashed the last two times Gomber took the hill, both as an underdog. I don't get this line, guys. I mean, we love betting Colorado at home, a lot better bet. They're catching a nice number here. And Gomber, the fourth rounder out of FAU, the former <laughs> Al has been absolutely money his last six starts, both home and away. He's up against Eduardo Rodriguez, the 31-year-old Venezuelan hurler. Five innings pitched in Coors Field. That's it for his career here. And he gave up nine hits, three walks in that one start, a 900 team OPS against. I think the Rocks get after him here, guys. So uh, plus 137, we get the home dog barking. First game up here on Wednesday. Moving down the slate a little bit, we get the Tampa Bay Rays hosting the Boston Red Sox in the trop. It's Tanner Hawk going for the Sox. Ryan Pepio going for the Rays. Rays minus 115 home favorites, seven and a hook being the total. You might be thrown off by this number with the Rays being favored, but I think there's good reasons why. Boston losing two straight. They've lost four of their last five. They've been cold of late. They got Hawk on the hill. He's really been up and down, the 28-year-old out of Missouri, as has Pepio, the starter here for the Rays, but pretty solid, really, 3.7 ERA. The Rays just won 8-3 to yesterday in game one. I think they're able to parlay that here in game two. We're going to lay the 15 cents with the much, much better bullpen. This Rays bullpen has been lights out, so it's Tampa Bay Rays laying the 15 cents short home favorites over the Boston Red Sox. Next one up, five minutes. Uh, actually, before, we're talking uh, Baltimore hosting the San Francisco Giants. We get Hayden Birdsong on the hill for San Francisco. Dean Kremer going for Baltimore. Baltimore heavy home favorites here, minus 180, total of eight. The Giants just won 10-0 to zero yesterday. Now they're getting plus 157. Risk 100 to win 157. This one's going to be nice if we cash it, guys. It's the Giants over the Orioles. Birdsong, the starter here for the Giants. Five innings, two hits his last time out against a pretty good Brewers lineup. He blanked them, so uh, he's riding a little bit of a hot hand. And Kremer, the starter here for Baltimore, They've actually lost three of the last four times he's taken the hill. Baltimore's lost two straight. They've lost four of five. They've lost seven of their last nine. They're kind of losing uh, losing ground there with the Yankees in the AL East. I think we keep fading the uh, Orioles. This lineup has been uh, pretty ice cold here. So, hey, it's the Giants. Big number. Birdsong on the hill. Plus 157 with the dog barking in Camden Yards. Next one up, 710 Eastern here as we head to the 7 o'clock hour. Washington Nationals, New York Mets. Jose Quintana on the hill, the lefty for the Metropolitans. DJ Hurts, the slated starter for the Nationals. Seven in the hook being the total, minus 157. That's the Mets as the home favorite. They've won two straight. 12-2 to two run differential in the last two games as well. So I'm not looking to go against the Mets here. They've also won the last three times Quintana's taken the hill. Back-to-back, -back, seven innings, blanking the opponent. Just one earned run in his last four starts. Problem is, laying the near 60 cents here up against the Nationals team that has Hurts on the hill in his last time facing the Mets. 
He had a 10 to zero strikeout to walk ratio. So really dominating this Mets lineup. I actually think the young kid could do it again here. Combine that with the fact the Nationals, you know, just talked about the run differential for the Mets. They've only scored two runs the last two games. This lineup's been pretty ice cold here. Um, I, I don't think we really, I don't think we get to eight runs, guys. I think this is a quick one. Game three of the series, uh, three to one, three to two, something like that. We're going under seven in the hook, Nationals and Mets. Next one up, battle of first place teams, 740 Eastern time. It's Philadelphia and Milwaukee. Aaron Nola on the hills for, for the Phillies. Freddie Peralta going for the Brew Crew. Minus 120, that's Milwaukee as the home favorite. Seven and a hook being the total. You might ask, why is Philadelphia best record in MLB? Why are they catching a, uh, the dog price here? Well, I, I mean, they've lost the last two times Aaron Nola's taken the hill, guys. He has not been good. 15 hits, 10 earned runs, his last two starts. Now he's going up against the Brewers lineup, top 10 lineup overall, top five lineup against righties. Freddie Peralta, the starter here for the Brewers. Decent numbers. He's got a high walk rate, though. He's already got 64 walks on the season, four walks last time out. So going up against this Phillies lineup, when you're walking a lot of guys, I don't think that's really a good uh, good recipe for success here. Tough to go against the Brewers as well. Sidewise, this is a tough one. This could be, uh, you know, a National League playoff kind of uh, preview here. We get the Brewers, the most profitable team in baseball, and then the Phillies, the best record in baseball. Instead, guys, I think both of these lineups get after it. And uh, this Phillies lineup, you know, they've been pretty hot over the last two weeks. And with Nola on the hill, all those questions. Short number here with the total, seven and a half. I think we go eight or higher. Might, might even get, you know, one of those alt totals towards the over with double digits. So we're going over seven and a half Phillies and Brewers. The second day game we're going to be talking here, 640 Eastern, 340 local time. We're heading to Southern California, Petco Park for the Padres and the Astros. Dylan Cease on the hill for the Friars. Framber Valdez, the lefty, going for the Astros. Pick them price tag, minus 105 on each side. As I'm talking in the overnight market, guys, actually about 1 a.m. Pacific time, so late, late night here. Seven being the total. Houston coming in, winning five of their last six. This is the last game of the road trick. That can be kind of an iffy time to bet on a team because they're heading home right after. It might be a quick one for them. And the San Diego Padres, they lost last night to the Astros, a tight one in extra innings. Uh, but they have won four of their last five overall. Cease on the hill for uh, for the Padres. 3-5 ERA, 210 strikeouts on the season. We like betting on them. We've been betting on them a bunch with some success. Tough to go up against Valdez. Just one earned run in his last three starts combined. That's 21 innings. But really, this Padres lineup... I think they get after it, guys. Not a best bet by any means, but if you're needing something, Padres and Astros in the day action, we are going on the Padres pick them price tag. Guys, that's going to do it for Drew's Daily Diamond. We got uh, uh, premium picks, wagertalk.com, 5% max limit up and available. Check that out in the Yankees and Mariners game, a game we didn't hit on, uh, on Drew's Daily Diamond, but it is a 5% up and available Guys, a reminder, comment below. It helps out the algorithm. Any of your MLB picks are more than welcome. And uh, I'll be in there chiming in as well in the comments below. Smash that like button. Thanks for tuning in. Cash those tickets. We'll be back tomorrow.